I'm Kevin Studaker from Total Seal Piston Rings, and today we are in Total Seal's Precision Piston Ring Filer Assembly Room. I'm going to show you how to operate this piston ring filer today. Okay, the first step in using our power ring filer is you must square the cutting wheel. You use the diamond dresser, which is this piece here. Rotate the squaring stop down. Slide that across in and down here and across that and then you lock it down. Pull this back. And then you're going to slowly just kind of run it into the wheel just so it starts dragging. You'll turn the filer on. You need to turn the thumb screw in more. Okay, so now you're ready to file rings. We'll shut this off. Take this out of here. Okay, now I'm going to show you the process of filing a piston ring. First thing you do, rotate the ring squaring slash stop down. You're going to take your ring and you're going to bring it up flush with the stop. You're going to lock the screw down here. You're going to set the arc which this is basically your stop so you can continue filing rings so you have complete repeatability throughout this whole, this ring itself, all the top rings, second rings. You'll want to, you'll want to change it depending on the radio wall, but this basically makes it so you can repeat filing the same ring over and over again. Okay, so now that you have that pulled back, you're gonna bring your ring up to the wheel, just like you did with the dressing stone or the dressing uh, tool. Bring it up so it has some drag on the on the on the filing wheel. Turn it on. And we're gonna come up and touch off on the wheel. I'm gonna back this off just a little bit and bring it in. Okay. Now at this point, you're gonna zero your indicator by turning. You may have to unloosen the thumb screw. So let's call that zero. Now you want to take, let's say you want to take four or five thousandths off. Let's just call it four thousandths. There's four thousandths. That's it. We've just taken a four thousandths cut with the ring filer. It's really simple, really easy to use, very repeatable. Once you get this set, you don't change it. Now at this point, I'm going to stop it for now to get rid of the noise. You take the ring off, put it back in your bore, check the end gap, and that's it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to deburr the end gap of the ring after we filed it. So basically what we have here is a very light abrasive wheel just for taking the burrs off the edge of the ring. You're going to come up and barely touch that surface. So basically all you're doing is just knocking that edge off puts a slight radius on the edge of the ring. You're going to want to do that to the face of the ring. And once again, real light, all you want to do is just break that edge of the ring. You never want to put a big radius on it because basically that's like adding end gap to the ring because you're taking away from the ring ceiling area. And that's really it. It's real simple to deburr a ring with this. As long as you're really, real light on the pressure, it's all you need. And that's how you deburr a ring. The Total Seal Power Ring Filer is made in America and manufactured in-house. It comes in a 110 volt option and a 220 volt option. Whenever you're ready to order one, give us a call at 800-874-2753 or go to TotalSeal.com.